uh, E3 just happened and there were some games that got me interested. You got your yearly zombie shooters, of course, but let me tell you what I'm looking forward to. To start off, Battlefield 2042. You know I love my multiplayer shooters and Battlefield 2042 is looking good! Mostly excited about the 128 multiplayer matches, that's gonna be insane! You might know like I'm more interested in like an old setting like uh, Battlefield 1 or World of War for example, but I'm definitely looking forward to get into something new from Battlefield. Not only the maps looked cool, but you have like sandstorms and tornadoes that can completely change the game. A lot of vehicles as well, a whole lot of vehicles. Definitely can't wait to experience that and snipe my ass off. Then we have a game I didn't know they were going to release and I haven't seen any leaks about it as well, but Forza Horizon 5 already? I guess it makes sense because the last one was released 2018, but where's Motorsport 8? Don't get me wrong, the location in Mexico looks phenomenal, absolutely insane, but uh, it bothers me a bit, like you put so much time and effort into a game, like for example Horizon 4 and you like 100% of DLCs and all the good stuff. And then they give you a new game and you're like, oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that for? Well, that was a lot of fun, but still. But now I'm just complaining for no reason. Uh, they're, they're gonna get my money for sure. The Horizon series are the games I think I've played the most in my life. I just love the creative way of racing and the freedom you get. Hopefully we can get some good races without any contact. It looked insane. And this is the game I'm gonna pick up first. Very short, Among Us is getting like a 15 player lobby, which is gonna be even more chaos. Five more people screaming. I mean, yeah, sign me up. Another game I wasn't expecting, Slime Rancher 2. Like, what? The first game was such a cute and fun game. It's a game you can just lose track of time while playing and just feel good about yourself. Can't wait to see they can recreate the magic from the first game. I'm not normally very interested in like party games, but like party animals looked very fun actually. I saw PewDiePie play it as well a while back. And yeah, that, that looks like a blast. Definitely going to check this one out as well. And of course, last but not least, Halo Infinite. I mean, in all the other games I've talked about, it's not very story based, so it's a bit harder to know what you're going to get while watching that trailer. You know, keeping Halo 5 in mind, of course. We saw some replacement Cortana, no clue what that was all about, but you'll have to wait and see. Chief is looking hella crisp though. Of course, we are all looking forward to this and I hope it can recreate some Halo magic again. Can't wait to get my hands on this one. I really, really hope it's going to blow us away. The multiplayer looked very nice as well, but you know, with, with like something like multiplayer, I think we can all expect it's going to be fun. Like Halo 5 multiplayer was fun as well, but I'm more looking forward to the campaign. So yeah, a very, very short video to let you know what I'm excited about. I can't wait to play all of these, especially Horizon 5. I want it now. And of course Halo Infinite, but I'm keeping myself calm not to get too excited about it. Just thinking about the past. Let me know in the comments what games you are excited for. And you know, you'll probably see the games I've talked about on my channel as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye! Where is Cortana? The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone.